beautifully appointed accommodation. Mm. As I said, that costs money. So where do you get your funding from? Each year for us to run, it costs about £85,000. Now, up to April... Last year. We are very proud to say that the charity, from 1991, never spent any money whatsoever on staffing. Everything, everything went to the families. Um, this year it's become so big, you can imagine with four provisions, people coming in and out twice a week because we do the meets and greets as well, and the community base. We've had to bring Jill on board, who's admin. Now she is the only paid member of staff. Mm -hmm. Now for a charity of our size, who've provided this year alone over a thousand people with a break, plus all of the community activity that we've done as well, I think that's quite tremendous and we're very proud of that. Hmm. Previously, I think it was much easier to get funding, but like all charities, we are struggling along with every other. Um, the government courts have taken its toll and local authorities, of course, are being more reserved at um, giving out the grants. Um, the grants that are around that you can apply for, of course, the numbers are greater who are applying for them, so it's extremely difficult. This year, to date, we've not had any grants whatsoever. So we've had to rely on volunteers assisting us um, with fundraising. As I've said, the crew from Platbridge have been fantastic. We have other volunteers, some who are with me today, doing the tombola while I'm doing this piece. Um, we have others who make things, crafts and things that we can then sell to make money. Um, but we do have support from a couple of companies at the moment. Um, Procter & Gamble have just come on board, being exceptionally good. They're providing us with all the cleaning products. That saves the charity an awful lot of money and we're ever so grateful. They're also supporting us by buying us two new beds this year for one of the caravans. Because we do change the beds and mattresses very often. Mm -hmm. We have to change the mattress covers and the pillar covers on a regular basis. All costs money. Um, so we do like people to feel they've bought us something so that they know exactly where their money's gone. Um, we also have a great deal of support from Adaptus Housing. Um, they've come on board this year. Um, they've already bought us a shower, which is going into the community base um, so that we can offer her dressing. So that when they're using the sensory room, um, if they come in purse, one of, one of the mums can treat themselves and have the hair done. Because mm -hmm. they'll very often say they have no me time. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice way we'll get a volunteer hairdresser and it'd be a nice way for them to actually get some me time as well. Um, so we do get support from local people and we do get support from a couple of companies, but we're still in our infancy, I suppose, with trying to get companies on board. But we do, you know, if anyone wants to offer us anything, we'd be ever so grateful. <laughs>